make no mistake, that comment, I'm under contract, packed a lot of weight, and it was a salvo. And it was a, a statement on the current state of affairs, which is, I'm not playing ball. I have the leverage contractually. I have the leverage. You're going to have to fire me. Otherwise, I'm under contract, and I'm showing up to work. And I'll even work with you to restructure who makes the decisions and whatever you want. I'm amenable to whatever it takes. I'll see you tomorrow at 9. And it's all on Robert's lap, and that's the way it's always been from the start. This fantasy that Bill was somehow going to work with them or a tray or something. Like, have you not seen the way these guys operate? I mean, these guys, I mean, Belichick, Parcells. It's the way these go. And I don't blame them. I mean... The people he's dealing with, meaning the owners, hold people to contracts and play hardball and say, well, you signed it. Well, that's what that is. So what did you expect from Bill Belichick? And so that's what he did today. And, you know, why did the Crafts extend him? And when that, when that news came out in the middle of the year, I said it. Why you say why? Well, so, because uh, why? You wanted to have leverage over him so he didn't bolt? You never wanted to give him the, the opening to leave you, so you were always going to have an extra year of control? Okay. Well, the risk was that it was so bad that you wanted him gone. And now he had that extra year, and he had it over you. That was the risk, and you lost. You lost. You lost that bet, Robert and Jonathan. You signed him to an extra year because you thought in some way you'd be able to hold that over him, as Maz has pointed out which usually the way it works in the past. If you, if you have someone under contract, generally you have the leverage. You get to trade his rights. You get whatever. He doesn't get to move unless you say so. And that's, I guess, historically the way that it's gone. So the only risk there in signing that extra year was that it was so bad that you had to move on. Well, you lost the bet.